Uh, well, joining us now on the news tonight, first from Denver in the United States, is Gregory Fife, the former lead investigator with the National Transportation Safety Board. He's, uh, for more than 20 years, uh, investigated a number of air disasters. And here in Delhi, Wing Commander Praful Bakshi, aviation and defense expert on what possibly could have happened to this airliner. Uh, Mr. Fife, to you first. Based on what you've read so far, what do you think happened? One of the things that the investigators are going to have to look at, of course, is where the aircraft was when it was starting to have these electrical anomalies that were being reported electronically from the airplane. That is, there was, a, there was evidence that there was an electronic fit. Look, planes are designed to withstand very, very severe turbulence, so this would have had to be extremely bad if a plane goes down because of bad weather. Airplanes are designed to withstand extreme turbulence. There was a, an A330 Airbus that had been involved in, in a severe turbulence event uh, several years ago. It did survive as far as being intact and the crew was able to land the airplane safely. But in this particular instance, we have a situation where if the turbulence was severe enough and caused the airplane to be upset, that is, it, the airplane got into a very unusual attitude. It rolled or it pitched up and down severely, or there was some structural damage. Now we have a situation where the crew may not have been able to maintain control of the airplane. And given the fact that it was at night, um, it, you know, they were at high altitude and very high velocity, any kind of structural damage would have been exacerbated and compounded by the encounter with severe turbulence. But what are the kind of backups that are in place for a situation like this? Because one would assume that uh, in an aircraft as advanced as this, if there was some kind of electrical failure, that there would be a million backups in place. Absolutely. This airplane has, it flies by computer. Um, and so there are a number of different computers and backup electrical systems. However, if there was a major malfunction with the electrical system, whether it was because the airframe was structurally damaged or there was a compounding failure. Similar to your home computer when the power supply fails, the entire computer fails. If you had that type of catastrophic failure, that would make it very difficult to maintain control of this type of airplane. So the investigators are going to rely heavily on the flight data recorder information and any available cockpit voice recorder information. We have some limited information, and I think that with the history that Airbus keeps on this particular airplane and the operational status that the airlines track with their own fleets, they will be very cognizant of the operational characteristics. Until more information is found out about this Air France flight, all they can possibly do is heighten the awareness of their flight crews, especially when they operate the airplane in areas of adverse weather. I have a feeling you'll probably see them maneuvering the airplanes well away from any kind of thunderstorm or adverse weather until we really understand what's happened with this Air France flight. Odd uh, that uh, there was just absolutely no communication from the crew at this point to air traffic control anywhere. It's not unusual right now only because in that part of, of the world in flying there isn't a lot of very good communication. Pilots are required to make position reports with air, air traffic control. There is an automatic download system that continually pumps information or downloads information to the operator so that they can monitor the performance and do a health check on the aircraft systems. It's evident that this system did provide information whether it was operating on battery power or the actual ship's power using uh, the engine generators is unknown at this point and it may have been that the event that this flight crew was having to deal with may have been so overwhelming or catastrophic that it took all of their attention